I once heard a story by a doctor from America. He was at a party with his wife and two children and the hostess received a call for him. So she suggested he took the call on the stairs away from all the noise. So he goes outside, picks up the phone, lightning strikes the house next door, straight down the line and the bolt hit him in the face and killed him outright, knocked him flying down the stairs. But that was not his story, not the whole story. He said he found himself standing there wondering why the phone was swinging on the line. Why am I here, he was thinking, you know. And so he thought, well, I might as well go back up the stairs to the party. So he's making his way up. As he got near the, the top stair, a woman comes running out who he'd known for many years, barely even acknowledged it, just almost ran through him down the stairs in a panic. And he's thinking, what, what's the matter with her? And he turned around and she's now trying to resuscitate him. There's his body on the floor, dead, and she's trying to resuscitate him. And so as a doctor, he was still able to think. He was standing there thinking, how can I be functioning like this now when I'm dead? I'm supposed to be dead. That, that's a dead man there, and I'm here. And so he watched the events as they unfolded. And he was in one realm, and his body was in another sea, you know. But the living, the living part of who we are can only be in one place. It's either in the body or it's out the body, but it doesn't go away. Anyway, before the day was over, he went back into his body. As the real sense of who he was, the living eternal sense of him went back into the body, the body was now alive. The body is only alive because of the life that we bring to it. And he talks about that story. He goes around and, and it changed his life. And one of the things that is true in this life, we can see these stories on YouTube now. If you just type in near-death experiences, a, a great many people have died and experienced all sorts of things and come back, okay? And their testimonies are there. And the thing that really strikes you when you look at these stories, listen to them, is that people really don't understand what death is, that this body might die. And don't forget this is a physical thing, and even, even the brain is a physical thing, you know, and these things die. But who we essentially are is not the body and not the mind, not the ego. We're not these things. We're something else. And so many of these people, when they die, or supposed to have died, realize what death really is, what's beyond that veil. And they also understand a lot more about what life is. And many people, they don't really want to come back here, actually, because this is quite a tough place. But they do come back, and they make a better fist of life. And that's because they understand better now what life is about and how better they could be. Now, another name I'd like to throw into the hat here is um, Pim van Lommel. He is a cardiologist from Holland. We'll write his name on the bottom for you so you can check it out. And he did extensive research into people who had died. And he interviewed them. And they, they were clearly dead, clinically dead. And he knew that. He has all these factors that he, he checks and everything. And then they talk about being able to see things that were going on whilst their body was dead. So... It's very fascinating stuff, and it's something we can't ignore, okay? But today, the whole point of me saying these things is not only to just stir up a little bit of thought in us, but also to put into some kind of framework the poem I'm about to read. Um, it's a very famous poem, and it's uh, credited to a lady called Mary Elizabeth Fry. So listen to the words, and think about the things I've said, and maybe you'll change your mind about a few things. Don't stand at my grave and weep. I am not there. I do not sleep. I am a thousand winds that blow. I am the diamond glints on snow. I am the sun on ripened grain. I am the gentle autumn rain. When you awaken in the morning hush, 
I am the swift uplifting rush of quiet birds in circled flight. I am the soft stars that shine at night. Do not stand at my grave and cry, for I am not there. I did not die. 